This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried wee 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 all the way home. Poor piggy. I see you are singing that nursery rhyme to Tom. You do know he is still learning to improve his speech. Anyway, what do you want? Just wanted to say that I am starting a meeting in half an hour, so sing more nursery rhymes to Tom, and I better go upstairs and print what I am going to say. Fine by me, Sam. See you in your meeting. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she phoned for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat, and knocked at the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat -tat. He looked at the dolly and shook his head, and said, Miss Polly, put her straight to bed. He wrote a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning with a bill, bill, bill. What is that woman doing to the robber? A touchy touchy. Well thanks for that Caleb, you disgust me. Anytime Annie. Oh sorry Leslie. It's a good job I landed on the bed you idiot. Once again, I am sorry. By the way, what do you want? I'm holding a meeting in half an hour, so get prepared. Fine, but next time, don't knock me flying. She must have forgotten to take her schizophrenia pill. Oh hey Jared, I see you are recovered. Yeah boss, it is really bad, my nose was blocked. I keep on coughing and sneezing, and I had a really high temperature, so now I am back. What work do I need to catch up on? Check your emails. There was a thing sent to everyone yesterday, and the deadline is on Monday, and today is Thursday, so if you can, please read the whole thing, it is important. Alright, got it boss. Sure, that will be three pounds. Have a good day, miss. Good morning, Mighty Six, and I am going to be holding a meeting today. Right? How am I going to put it? Oh yes. I am going to link two words. See if you can get it. First name girl, last name friend. A girlfriend? You have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah I do. After all these years, Mandy. I got my hands on one. Yay yeah, yay yeah, yay yeah, yay yeah, yay. Yeah. Finally, after these years Sam, you are finally in love. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. Oh, and I forgot to mention, she is coming today. I need potty. Go in there and do a hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon, the little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with a spoon. What? Smoke. Smoke. No Tommy, this is not for children, or even teenagers, this is only for adults only, and no, you can't smoke. But smoke comes out of my mouth when it's cold outside. Well that's completely different from that, now can you please go inside? Alright, fine. Hello baby, how are you my love? Hi Julia, you look beautiful today. Ah, thank you my precious. Don't you dare Caleb. They may do a touchy-touchy on the couch tonight. Right? This is the second time you freaking slapped me today. Will you just cut it out? Okay, Mandy. I want to talk to you for a moment. Go ahead then. Please act normal please in front of my girlfriend please. Because she doesn't want to see you act miss crazy around her. She hates crazy so much. So act normal. Got it? All right, fine. I need a wee wee. See what I mean, Mandy? You are crazy. You don't say wee wee. You say pee. Same thing, isn't it? 
Oh great, Mandy also forgot to take her schizophrenia pill. The Mighty Six seems so nice. You have a really good house by the way. Thank you Julia, let's have a bite in the kitchen. Oh yes please Sam, I like a ham sandwich. Coming right up precious. Ah, there's the ham, there's the bread, bam, ham bread. Oh, I get it, it's like a joke. It is a joke. Oh, but it is still funny, you know? Yeah, I guess it still is. Oh, found the email, it says, Dear everyone, we are holding a meeting on Monday, and you need to complete this form by Sunday. Remember, use lots of detail for this, as this will include in the meeting on Monday. Kind regrets, George Heath, boss. Well, as I wish, I better work on this beauty then, maybe I could be Hollywood famous. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. May I have this dance my beloved husband? Yes my queen. Jared Blandon. Oh my gosh, I did not just do that. Why were you dancing in the middle of an office area? I thought I was a Hollywood star sir. Well, break dancing in the middle of the office area is not permitted in this area, now please, get back to work. Oh boy, you have- Oh my, you have an elevator in this house, so cool. I know right babe, and it is invented by this man called Jay Williams. And he used to live here, until he moved out to live with his girlfriend and her child who has autism. Wait, is he the one with the blue hair and sunglasses? Yeah, why? I think I saw him in my primary school, and I am the same age as him as well, but we sort of never talk to each other. Well, today is your chance to talk to him, he is coming over for a chat. That's nice, we better get ready for his arrival. Let's go. Mighty Six, here I come to visit. Let's hope I have a really good chat there today. What's up Jay? Are you nearly there yet? Nearly Imogen, I can see the road. I just wanted to let you know, that baby Tommy pooped his nappy. Why would I want to know that Imogen? You do his nappy a lot, so change him please. Darn it, bye Jay, thank you a lot, you really helped me. I really don't care if Tommy has pooped himself, I am just walking a bit more further. Oh hi there, what's your name? Don't you remember me? My name is Julia, I went to your primary school, and I am Sam's girlfriend. But we never made eye contact. I know, and I didn't talk to you before, so this is my first time. Oh right. Anyway, why do you always wear sunglasses? Alright, let me explain. I was born without good vision, whatever I see is blurring, so my doctor advised me as a baby to put some sunglasses that will help me see much better, so I put them on, and my life changed forever, but the problem is that my friends disowned me, and my classmates all bullied me in primary and secondary, even out on the street, but right after I joined the mighty six, everyone forgave me, and I am happy where I am right now, so yeah, that is the story of why I always wear sunglasses. Oh god. I feel so sorry you have to go through that, Jay. I know. Hey guys, I am going to share Jay's story on all of your screens. Oh my god, Jay got bullied at school because of his sunglasses. And he went into the Mighty Six with everyone forgiving him? Sorry about that, mate. Mandy just forgotten to take her schizophrenia pills again. Were you just curious about his sunglasses by any chance, Julia? I am sorry, I am just wondering why he is always sunglasses. I forgive you baby, I will always love you. Aw, thank you babe. Arrgh. Ugh. Ugh. Mandy, Mandy has pushed it too far this time. I am just going to ignore her for the rest of my life. She has never learned to make a change. Whatever it is, 
I don't want to know about what was Mandy thinking about when she totally embarrassed me in front of the whole entire Mighty Six. Mandy, what did I tell you earlier? You told me I didn't take my schizophrenia pills. Not about that Mandy, I told you to behave like a normal woman when she comes over. Oops, I forgot about that. You obviously trying to get Julia to break up with me Mandy, don't you like her Mandy? She is horrible Sam, just horrible. Mandy. That is very rude of you, she is meant to be a lovely lady, I don't know why you hate her Mandy, she is nice, in fact, you didn't even talk to her yet, but you never will, now, please follow my advice, act normal, got it? If you don't act normal, I may have to take 10 off your social credit. We don't do social credit Sam. And now we do, is that a problem Mandy? If that's a problem, then yes. Why would we do social credit in this house? I am literally a lead, I am not made of money. Who says you are made of money? Never mind, you probably have a lot leftover money from Mr. Barry Holman. Still, you are not made of money, we don't have to worry about Mandy, now, goodbye, I am going to get some milk, since you didn't get any this morning. Well goodbye then. Hey babe, I had a little chat with Mandy, and she is sorry. By the way. I am just going out to get some milk, want to come along, the shop is only 5 minutes walk. Yeah alright then, let's go. God, Mandy forgot to take her schizophrenia pills again. I heard the conversation between you and Mandy, and Mandy said she hates me, but I am glad you said that I am nice. Aw, oh, I wouldn't hate you baby, you are my world at the moment. Thank you beautiful. Anyway. Do you want to? Sam, oh no, are you alright? Julia, ouch! I might have, ouch! Broken my leg, ouch! Called a, ouch! Mighty six, ouch! Stay calm baby, which one do I need to call? Just call, ouch! Anyone, ouch! I'll call Leslie. It's Sam, I better take this. Hi Sam, how are you? No Leslie, this is not Sam. This is Julia, Sam's girlfriend, I just want to let you know, that Sam tripped over a crack, and he had broken both of his legs, we need two mighty six members to come over here and support him while I call the ambulance and look out for the doctors. Alright, me and Annie will come over, where are you? Over the bridge, so you just need to go straight forward and turn right. Alright, see you in a minute. Annie, you are coming with me to support Sam. He had tripped over a crack and broken both of his legs, so let's go. I got my phone, let's go. I see Leslie and Annie, over here. Hello again Julia, we are here. Sam is over there, but I need to get in your car to call the ambulance. You get out and keep him safe until the ambulance comes. Okay, in you get Julia. Sam, you are in safe hands now, the ambulance is coming in a few minutes, just keep breathing. Ouch! Oh no, the breathing isn't helping, the pain must be really hurting his legs. I see the ambulance, you are in safe hands Sam, you are coming with you. Actually Leslie, could you drive back home and get the others to come to Plotagon Hospital? Sure thing Julia, see you in the hospital. Oh Julia, I feel pain in my legs, I actually fractured them. Oh no, I feel bad for you Sam. Hope your legs feels better soon. Thank you baby, very much. Anyway, I am going to tell Annie the results of the x-ray, be right back. Do whatever you want with me baby, see you in a minute. I am sorry for what I said earlier, I didn't mean to make Jay furious at me. That's okay Mandy, just please don't do it again, okay? Yeah, I understand. Good, we all forgive you. Also, I did take my schizophrenia pills. How is Sam's legs doing? Not going well Annie, the x-ray states that both of his legs are broken, so he needs to stay in a wheelchair for a while. It seems like there is something wrong, what's wrong? Okay, okay, you got me, I read Sam's diary while he wasn't looking, 
and it states that he sucks his thumb while hugging a teddy bear, which is called crazy, and I don't want to date anyone who sucks their thumb as an adult. Oh shoot, that is one type of anger issues. Right, I am going to barge in there. Right baby, let's have a chat, shall we? Why the sad face? Well Sam, I am angry at you, why? Because I looked at your diary, and you suck your thumb while holding a teddy bear, this is childish, and this is it, I am going to dump you. No! Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! I broke up with that cow, now I am storming out of here, goodbye forever. <laughs> oh no, poor Sam, I better go follow Julia. I hate my life, eh? Oh my god, Julia, are you alright? Doctor, over here. It can't be, she is dead. Oh my god, she died right in front of us. I better tell Sam about this. I'll tell him, Mandy. Sam, it is with deep sorrow that your ex has died on the hospital floor. Jesus, so she was dying all along? Yeah, she was, so that was a very hard secret to cope with. Overall, she had forgotten to take her schizophrenia pills. <laughs>